What was happened? tough with Pickett tonight uh, to not be able to slow him down? Say one more time. What was tough about Pickett tonight to not be able to slow him down? Uh, started off giving him, uh, we gave him easy shots. And, uh, but we we changed our game plan on him. We started switching things. And they hit a lot of threes, actually, in, uh, in the first half, like about 10 threes. And I think it got to two the second half. But Pickett had a great game. Uh, he took advantage of this defensive matchup that he had on him. As well as you guys have been playing defense over the last month plus, two months, just what was maybe not there tonight you know, with that end? Our intensity, uh, our focus. Uh, we were just like the days ago today, um, we, it wasn't us. Um, and we, can be, we should be a lot better. Uh, but this is the next game. Uh, we got Indiana coming up, and we got to get prepared for them. And we hope that we. We know hope we are going to play better defense against Indiana. I mean, does that surprise you that maybe it was you had that kind of effort just based on what you've seen from this team? Uh, we've been playing really hard. Um, it does surprise me. Um, we gotta we just gotta find a way to stay level level headed. Uh, we can't go come out and play one way to a team and then play one way to another team uh, based off the name. Uh, but we just we just gotta. Just gotta come out better. Um, we've been starting slow the past few games, and we can't dig we can't dig ourselves in the hole uh, in every game like we've been the past few games. Uh, we always can't come back from that, and that happened tonight. How different of a matchup are they compared to some other teams you see, especially with Pickett posting as a point guard? Uh, yeah, I mean, everybody can shoot on their team uh, in all lineups, except when they got their big in the game. But they're a great team. Um, their record doesn't uh, say. Uh, they beat us twice. They beat a few other good teams in the Big Ten. Um, but they're a good team. Uh, I'm not discrediting them. Uh, but they came out and played hard, and they deserve to win tonight. I mean, we got the news before the game that, that Zach was going back to France. I mean, is that just a yeah, – I guess how do you, you know, view that situation? Um, I mean, once I found out, I just texted him. I told him I wish him the best. If you never need anything, you can text me. Um, no hard feelings. Uh, it's just another piece uh, that we're missing. Uh, our season still goes on, and we just got to move on out of How much did it surprise you that he was leaving? Uh, it surprised me um, a lot. Um, I didn't know. I didn't know that he had something going on. Uh, I talked to him every day. He's always smiling. Um, but to see him leave, uh, is pretty, I mean, it's just a loss. He's a, he's a great player. Great guy. Um, it was a good addition to our team. Coach Underwood seemed like very ready to just hit the road, get back home, and uh, start the prep for, for Indiana. Just can you guys kind of put this one you know, behind you that you know, that easily, or how do you? Maybe try yeah, we have no choice. Uh, That's how we got to do every game. Even if we won this game, we got to put it behind us and get ready for Indiana. Um, you got to treat every game just celebrate it, or if unless you lost. Just next day, the next team that you play. Um, can't dwell on the game. It ain't like our season over. It ain't like we lost in March. So just got to get ready for Indiana, the next game mentality. It's a remarkable time in the first half when not a lot of players that had any fouls were on the floor. It seems like maybe both teams, maybe especially the home team, got away with some more push offs than usual, more moving screens. No, man. Uh, never, never blame the refs. <laughs> Uh, this physical game though. Yeah, um, we we lost. They beat us. Uh, can't blame the rest for nothing. Uh, okay, thanks, they came guys. out of us.